Okay, seems like we are live. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for showing up today. Um, it's uh, the, I believe, 20th community call that we are hosting here on a monthly basis uh, with the Equilibrium team. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm the CEO and the founder uh, with Equilibrium. Um, so we have a very packed agenda for today, and uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, folks who will be joining us uh, during the call. Um, so, by um, kind of way of uh, introduction, uh, let me say a few words about myself and then I'll uh, take it over to my colleagues, uh, Natalie and Peter. Um, so, um, yeah, my name is Alex. As, as, as I said, I'm responsible for the overall company strategy and uh, uh, sometimes product development as well. Um, so I'm kind of wearing multiple hats, um, and um, yeah, so I'm I'm joined today with my by my colleagues uh, uh, Peter, Natalie, and uh, Dai. She will introduce herself later, and now I'm uh, giving over to Peter and Natalie to introduce themselves first. Um, yeah, thank you, Alex. Hi, everyone. My name is Peter, and uh, you know me very well already. Uh, I am a tech team manager with Equilibrium. And uh, now I'll pass it forward to Natalie. Yeah. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, ni nice to meet everyone. I'm Natalie uh, from the business development team, basically working on uh, building relationships with our ecosystem partners, um, bringing in liquidity, um, creating like, um, you know, uh, working with our liquidity providers, market makers and stuff. Um, great to see everyone here again. Nice, amazing. So as usual, we have uh, prepared some slides uh, to show you during this presentation. And, uh, let me share my screen. And uh, uh, as usual, I'll guide you through uh, our agenda first. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Um, guys, can you see my screen by chance? Okay, yeah, it's here. Nice. Um, okay, so um, we will be actually covering quite a bunch of topics today, as I said. Uh, firstly, uh, we have uh, conducted the first uh, public offering for the EQ tokens on the Republic platform, and we'll be covering the results of this offering. Uh, then um, I will uh, tell you a bit more about integration with Polygon. Just real quick, uh, there, there will be um, some information on uh, the progress uh, according to our launch roadmap. Um, uh, so there will be like some information also on the uh, respective assets, uh, the list that we are planning to launch first on uh, our products and uh, respectively like DEX and money markets and others. Um, uh, we'll also cover the XM integration aspects and there will be like some small panel with uh, our colleagues from um, from Aster respectively. We'll talk a little bit more about the current situation, the .sum ecosystem, uh, with regards to um, XCM integrations, uh, whether it's a uh, kind of easy way to make projects talk to each other and stuff. So there will be very interesting uh, things to be covered. Um, also, we'll, as usual, give you our development updates. Uh, and uh, also, we will cover our KSM treasury proposal. So we have uh, just one spoiler here. We decided to withdraw it, and uh, I will tell you all about the reasons behind this decision. Um, so without further ado, I actually wanted to give her over to our new, like brand new colleague, Dai, who is uh, uh, has joined our marketing team and we are super excited about that. Hey guys, uh, Dai here, super excited to be joining. Um, I have six years or so experience in blockchain marketing. My focus has been on social media and community growth with KOL outreach and partnerships, and then also content strategy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my main focus here at Equilibrium, and super excited to be joining the team and helping grow this awesome community. Amazing. Um, yeah, Dai, thanks very much for joining us, and uh, actually super excited about um, working together and uh, further progress uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know, social media growth and uh, content, uh, content marketing as well. Um, so yeah, um, let's move on. Um, as I said, we we are expected to cover the Republic offering results. Um, so we um, actually the um, the environment uh, around this offering was uh, uh, kind of you know 
uh, not relaxed definitely because uh, the market was really tough and uh, actually despite all the situation on the markets we have seen quite substantial interest in, around our project just to remind you we're building one of the most comprehensive DeFi platforms in the space which uh, uh, like the, the special about um, uh, about equilibrium is that it allows for like real high leverage in uh, borrowing and trading without uh, risks to the overall system uh, stability and uh, we are solving the problem of um, sort of uh, efficiency like capital efficiency in DeFi first of all uh, through building this platform and we are combining the uh, full-fledged money markets uh, which uh, uh, applies the lowest collateral requirements ever in the space and uh, the DAX which uh, has uh, like quite unique um, sort of uh, margin trading capabilities uh, allowing for um, for the leverage up to 20x on uh, funds that you're putting as, as margin uh, into your account. Um, so uh, regarding the Republic offering results, like we have uh, actually like the, the idea behind the, the Republic offering was to split it into two phases. Uh, so the first phase of that uh, uh, was conducted in July and uh, the uh, fundraising was successfully closed on July uh, the 9th. Um, so actually, uh, uh, the hard cap for this first phase was uh, quite tiny. It's just five hundred thousand uh, dollars, like about about that, uh, um, like respectively, uh, four hundred ninety-nine thousand ninety uh, nine hundred fifty fifty bucks. Uh, it was the hard cap, and we successfully reached that, and actually it was even sold out. Um, so the funds were raised from both. Uh, uh, like investors who came from uh, uh, the U.S. market, uh, and because uh, we were kind of compliant with the local regulation, and um, uh, like the the second group of uh, uh, contributors were coming from the entire world, so it was like a global international uh, conglomerate of investors who actually participated in that uh, um, in that uh, uh, in that investment round. So uh, this this uh, kind of round was uh, actually uh, mostly uh, limited to those who who actually join our wait list. Um, so yeah, again, we, we have seen quite a lot of activity around that, and we are super thankful to our supporters. Uh, so just to highlight like uh, some uh, aspects of our next plans, like first of all, we are planning for the second round. Uh, the particular timing of that uh, will be announced uh, accordingly. And uh, um, actually, like our expectation that will be at some point in September, uh, probably slightly earlier, just, you know, finding out what would be the, 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 the right uh, uh, sort of time and uh, market conditions uh, for rolling out the, the second round. Um, also, um, like we, we will be approaching the token distribution after closing like all the investors. And actually, if you guys participate in this round, I encourage you to go to the Republic platform. So probably you got some, some requests for additional documents for your KYC and stuff from the Republic team. And uh, if you go there, you just, you know, you might find out some um, some requests regarding that to just, uh, you know, finalize your, um, your participation. Uh, so after we sort sort it out with all the uh, participants, uh, we will approach token distribution. So expect we will take a, take the Republic team because they are actually taking care of that. Uh, probably like at least uh, maybe a couple of weeks from now. Um, so after that, uh, once we accomplish uh, this distribution and uh, uh, also uh, uh, pro like the second rounds of uh, of the race, uh, we are, will be approaching the actual exchange listings. Uh, with this regards, we are um, actually in touch with uh, the uh, major ones, uh, uh, like respectively, we're in talks with uh, 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 KuCoin, Kraken, uh, Huobi, OKX, uh, uh, Gate.io, um, MXC, and uh, many, many others. So, uh, like the lineup of the exchanges that will be eventually listing the Q token should be pretty solid. Uh, like that's our expectations. I cannot disclose like the stage of this uh, um, kind of arrangements uh, right now. But uh, if you keep Keep your eye on our announcement channels on social media, like on Twitter, 
or Telegram uh, or whatever, you definitely will uh, be the first to know like what exactly going on on that front. Um, so yeah, I, I think we're actually missing the slide with um, uh, with uh, with the Polygon integration. Apologies for that. Um, so I also wanted to say just a few words about that. Uh, so we have announced the Polygon integration this month. Uh, this this is a really exciting achievement for us. Uh, so establishing like close relations with the uh, Polygon Foundation is very important in terms of our further growth and um, actually liquidity that we're expecting to get into our protocol like we're we're actually the first uh, of the dot sum ecosystem to um actually uh bridge this gap between two ecosystems and start accepting you know funds from from polygon this is a really really important thing for us and uh yeah so we that, that, that's something we will be working on very closely once we go live with all our product line, like really soon. Um, so yeah, and uh, on, without further ado, I actually wanted to ask Peter to guide us through the progress on this product uh, launch roadmap and to cover the aspects of that, because uh, I'm sure that everyone is uh, super um, thrilled about that and actually waiting for until we are, we'll be launching things into production. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, Alex. Uh, definitely, we're thrilled ourselves uh, because uh, we've been working nonstop. And uh, as you can see on the slide, well, pretty much we are currently one of the aspect of our work is an active XCM integrations. And uh, we've already integrated with Akala, Parallel, Interlay, Moonriver, Astar, uh, Bifrost is coming up, uh, Centrifuge is coming up. Uh, and several others, I don't remember the names, but uh, it's an active work in progress. And uh, not only we've already integrated with them, we have already opened up uh, uh, live HRMP channels uh, with those projects in the production. So uh, once we roll out our functionality, we will be pretty much ready to uh, accept uh, their native tokens on the go. Uh, we are actually as we speak to you right now we're in the midst midst of uh, you know uh, rolling out our blockchain into the production and pretty much this week we have rolled out uh, all of the core uh, blockchain functionality and uh, the only thing that is stopping us from launching the uh, fully fledged product is actually our front end side but we want to make sure that everything is perfect uh, in this regard here and we're doing a lot of, you know, um, interface work and we want to be pixel perfect pretty much. So uh, please bear with us. Uh, it will take us some time. But once you see what uh, you will eventually get, you will be thrilled because uh, I like it personally myself. We have done a lot of, you know, uh, work. Uh, we have gathered constructive criticism both from Kinshira and from... Uh, things users liked and disliked and tried to make uh, equilibrium interfaces um, fit uh, the needs of uh, all of our users. Uh, so uh, pretty much once we launch our money market, yeah, we will be ready to open up, uh, open up the asset deposits. And as I told you, we are technically ready to support the wide variety of tokens, but uh, uh, we need to be careful in this regard, which ones we accept as collateral, uh, which ones we bootstrap first and which ones we bootstrap second and at what terms. So this is uh, uh, still a work in progress, uh, but not a technical work, but uh, most still the important work that needs to be done on our part. So stay tuned. We'll definitely share all the details with our community in all of our social media channels and uh, um, you will be among the first ones to know which assets we're launching at what terms and what you can do with them within the equilibrium ecosystem. Um, another part, of course, uh, for those of you who, who follow us close enough, you know that we have a bridge which is operational with uh, EVM compatible chains like Ethereum, uh, Binance Smart Chain, Pico chain, uh, Alex just told you that we've integrated with Polygon and uh, well, we are excited to announce that uh, this bridge will uh, also support the substrate to substrate bridging and uh, 
So uh, with the launch to production, we will actually be able to uh, interconnect uh, both Kinshira and Equilibrium chains. So users will be able to uh, move uh, some of their assets between uh, Kinshira and Equilibrium. And we want to start with EQD, which is our uh, stable coin. So it will be like a multi-system, multi-chain stable coin eventually. And uh, all those X dot wrappers uh, we issued during the uh, crowd loans we supported via our X dot functionality. So uh, users will be able to move freely ETDs between Kinshira and Equilibrium and uh, all the different X dots. And uh, once we launch everything and roll out everything and you get all the uh, working functionality and uh, uh, pretty interfaces. You uh, then we will uh, launch some uh, liquidity bootstrapping events, and uh, yeah, as I told you already, we're working on uh, event details and partners and the sequence. Uh, pretty much, whom we will be launching first and whom we will be launching the next. So uh, that's it in broad strokes on the launch roadmap. And now I'm passing it back to Alex. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Peter. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, really, really excited about the progress, by the way. So we are doing the uh, great, um, great job, actually. Uh, uh, so expectedly, our community um, accounts that uh, as um, um, decent, uh, decent delivery by far. So, um, yeah, in terms of um, uh, the uh, list of assets in the launch roadmap, um, I actually wanted to highlight a few things. Like, first of all, uh, like in terms of the assets that will be uh, accessible on the platform from the day one, uh, like uh, we actually trying to make this list uh, actually shorter uh, rather than, um, you know, uh, being some, uh, uh, having some, you know, uh, out, outstanding uh, kind of, uh, um, uh, kind of not, not like some empty, empty pools or whatever. So there will be like major um, assets available first, including bots, uh, USDT, um, I mean, native ones from the state mine, um, a parachain and um, uh, some, some, some other assets. Um, like then we'll be approaching bootstrapping uh, liquidity pools with uh, ecosystem, um, native ecosystem assets like uh, Akala USD, Akala tokens, uh, uh, Glimmer tokens of Moonbeam, parallel tokens whatsoever. Uh, like uh, we'll be adding these pools once we will com we'll be completing integrations like XM integrations with uh, respective projects. Uh, like so far we have already uh, open few few uh, Axiom uh, channels. Uh, actually, my colleague Natalie will cover that in greater detail. But uh, still, so our expectations is to have like um, major um, assets like uh, global crypt cryptocurrencies uh, available now liquidity pools, and uh, uh, then bootstrap pools with uh, um, sort of native uh, uh, native ecosystem assets. And by the way, I hear some 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 noise on the background. So probably someone needs to mute uh, their mic. Can I ask for that? Uh, Die. Probably that's that's coming from your end. If... Oh yeah, thanks thanks very much. That's that's super helpful. Cool. Uh, so in terms of uh, our further launch steps, um, actually just. Here we have a few things on the table. Uh, like first of all, uh, we will be enable um, assets um, kind of depositing for lending, borrowing, and uh, uh, dex pools. Uh, then we will actually uh, bootstrap liquidity through dedicated events um, and um, actually uh, reward users with the uh, higher APR during these events in EQ tokens. Uh, then we'll be launching trading of these assets on the DAX um, and uh, actually um, uh, market makers will be filling the oil book with uh, their orders from uh, pull out liquidity from respective market making pools that will, will always also bootstrap during the bootstrap liquidity events. And uh, we're also expecting to roll out some trading con contests uh, then to um, engage with the users uh, of the DAX and uh, provide them with uh, certain uh, prizes and uh, benefits for their trading activities. 
Yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of a plan for um, kicking out the liquidity on equilibrium. We are also working on um, uh, engagements with uh, ecosystem investors who are holding uh, larger stakes of uh, ecosystem assets because, uh, you know, the thing that we will be actually offering certain very practical use cases for ecosystem uh, assets like native uh, tokens and, uh, you know, stable coins whatsoever. Uh, so that they can uh, use them uh, in our uh, DeFi platform for earning substantial yields. And uh, yeah, we're super excited about that because we're probably one of uh, just several projects that are actually delivering, you know, certain value to their users and to ecosystem stakeholders. Um, yeah, as I, as, I, as I promised, we'll be covering also today our uh, XM integrations. And uh, let me give it over to Natalie, who will guide you through our progress on that front. Yep. Uh, thanks, Alex. Yep. Uh, as what uh, Alex and Peter have mentioned, we are also actively engaging with our ecosystem partners to work on XM integration. So uh, first of all, uh, like we have completed a, a testnet integration with Moon River, and we are uh, already uh, ready to open up a HRMP channel on uh, with Moonbeam uh, when Equilibrium is ready. And as for Shiden, uh, we have actually completed testnet integration as well. Um, the next one would be on Astar. And uh, just on this note. Um, as for Axiom integration, the use case is not just to allow transfer of assets. We are also um, working on um, collaborating with uh, projects building atop uh, Moonbeam, for example, projects building atop uh, Astar, for example, to actually expand the utility of those uh, tokens because we do not want to just like you know transfer tokens over and just allow for trading. We will also say, for example, allow you know tokens to be used as collateral for borrowing for trading as well. So that would be the cross-chain uh, use cases. So yep, just on that note. Uh, on the next one would be uh, Interlay Kinsugi. We have also completed testnet integration. So we are ready to basically allow for assets to be uh, brought on to Equilibrium. And as for Bifrost Kusama, we are actually uh, already in touch with the dev team and our dev team is actually working on the testnet integration. So um, it would be probably ready like uh, next week or so. So uh, stay tuned on that front. And as for our centrifuge Altair, we have actually um, posted like a proposal to open up the XTM integration, like the channel uh, on their forum. And we have pretty much received very good uh, positive feedback from their community. So we'll go ahead uh, with the XTM integration like real soon, but it also depends on the timeline and resources on their front. So apparently they are also like kind of busy working on launching uh, IBDC. So, uh, sorry, um, um, their, their own uh, pools on, on Centrifuge. So we'll basically um, work with them together very closely. Once the resources are ready, we'll uh, definitely ready to uh, kickstart the XM integration uh, work with them as well. Yep, uh, that's pretty much uh, uh, all, uh, but that's not uh, the complete list. We are actually uh, also um, been in touch with uh, several other projects as well, like um, Fala team as well. So um, we'll keep uh, you guys posted once uh, we have more uh, a concrete kind of progress. Um, yeah, I guess so far that's it. And next I would like to um, invite uh, Alex and our special guest uh, Rio from the Astar business development team to basically discuss like, you know, what are the, you know, uh, Axiom integration use cases, like how it actually benefits the whole ecosystem as a whole. Yep. Back yeah, just, just, just a second. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm just trying to find our colleague from Astar here. So apparently he is not um okay just 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 a second we'll try to uh pin him yeah sure uh, directly just just a sec Okay. Anyways, uh, so I'm assuming he will be joining us shortly. Um, so, do you, like Natalie, the, the question to you actually, like, how how do you feel about the current um, 
about the current situation in the dot sum ecosystem that you know people projects need to build these integrations manually like whether it's uh, congesting uh the mm, ecosystem development or it's actually kind of fine uh given I, the current I, stage i think it's i think it's kind of fine though because um I think the very first step, like bare minimum, everybody should just be able to talk to each other. Then like, okay, of course, the first step, the first use case, the base use case would be just purely asset transfers to allow, you know, access to have more venues to be traded or more availability. But then the second phase would be like explore more like ex extra use cases, like what we have mentioned earlier, like, you know, not, not just for trading, but for collateral, for borrowing, for um, even the L LP pools can be used as collateral something like that hey, I, I think rio is yeah hi yeah, yeah rio yeah. Is, is here hi rio how are you man hi alex happy to be here thank you hi rio yeah yeah did, did you want to introduce yourself just real quick yeah i am uh, my name is rio and i am business developer at aster network uh we're one of the parent chains on polkadot uh, mainly focused on smart contracts Amazing. Uh, we were just touching with uh, Natalie on XCM integrations and how it affects the progress of the .sum ecosystem overall. Like, do you have any thoughts on that? Maybe you want to put your two cents here? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, like in the first phase, like the asset transfer between the parachains, we will save like the best use cases, like the one we're working with Equilibrium. So then um, users from our ecosystem and your ecosystem can um, use each other's DeFi protocols or NFT services uh, using their own native tokens. I think that's a really innovative, uh, makes a difference uh, to the whole .sum ecosystem. Got it, got it. Okay, so how, how's your um, how's your progress on XCM integrations in Astar? Like what's, what's going on there? How many connections you have already built? Uh, do you see like some traction with that? Yeah, so uh, we firstly, uh, we opened a channel with obviously with Dot, a real chain, and we also have channel with Akala opened, um, working on Moon River, it will be soon released, and also um, Equilibrium, uh, obviously. And in terms of traction, uh, we held Dot Festival on May, I mean, June, uh, where we um, aim to attract Dot and create use cases on our network that has been going pretty well. And we're trying to see more use cases with other parachains moving forward. Well, what's, what's, where do you see like the most of activity right now? Um, in our network? Um, I mean, in the X, through the XM connections primarily. Um, like, I think obviously like uh, for now, the most activity I think we've seen is asset transfer between Polkadot real chain and like each parent chains like Astar, Akala and all those parent chains. Right. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. That, that makes sense. So like, do, do you expect some uh, other kind of uh, integrations that will bring like the most of value to, to your project or like maybe you can talk one by one about them? Yeah. So, um, for now, as I said, in the initial phase, uh, we're like looking into like asset transfers and opening channels. That's the main focus. But like moving to forwards, we feel like uh, the biggest differentiator of XCM compared to other bridges is that it's secured, not centralized, and also it can leverage other parachains functionality, which was not possible in the existing bridges. And also because like our smart contract is focused on Wasm, uh, we're also focus on EVM, but we believe in the capability of Wasm uh, compared to EVM. And with Wasm, it can run more complex smart contracts. That was not possible with EVM because of the overhead they had. And mixing that with XCM, we feel like there's going to be an innovative use cases that realizes like the real Web3 kind of um, interoperable depths in the future. That's how we see it. Right. Okay, um, Nestle, let's talk a little bit more about uh, like our integration with the uh, with Astar. Like, um, where do you kind of see the most of uh, use case here, and uh, like, what will be the practical implication of that? Yeah, I think. Um... 
like the phase one would be definitely asset transfer, but the phase two to provide more utility to you know native assets of uh, Astar and also ours would be to let's say for example Equilibrium would be able to accept uh, not just Astar tokens but also uh, explore with projects building atop Astar to actually utilize their assets. So basically, users would be able to use those assets and as collateral on our platform. So they would be able to, you know, just borrow or do margin trade using those assets. Like similarly, users could also um, use, uh, let's say, EQD on our platform and bring it over to projects building on top Astar and use it over there as collateral for borrowing and lending as well. So I think that would, you know, vastly actually, you know, broaden the use cases, uh, you know, on, uh, in addition to just purely asset transfer. Right. Okay. Okay. That, that makes sense. Uh, Rio, do, do you have any kind of your perspective on our integration with integration with Equilibrium specifically? Yeah, so um, as Natalie just mentioned, I feel like like um, leveraging our assets and Equilibrium's asset to make it as a collateral on each other's stable coin is one of the most like use cases that we can think of. And I will say like what kind of value Aster can provide to Equilibrium community would be like opening new opportunities for equilibrium holders and also the EQD holders so that they can explore like NFTs, GameFi, which only exists on our uh, parachain because we're the smart contract platforms. I feel that's also one of the way how we could contribute to equilibrium. Right. Okay, makes sense. Um, Rio, I actually, I'm super excited about our integration. I think that uh, we can bring a lot of value to your ecosystem, to uh, your users, to projects that have been built on top of Astar. And expectedly, this integration will um, will work out. And uh, um, yeah, so that's that, 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 that's my view on that. That's my exciting excitement. Um, yeah, th thanks very much for joining our community calls. It's a real pleasure to interact with your 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 team uh, every time when we, you know, do anything like uh, in the public space. Yeah, thanks for having me. Amazing, thanks. Um, okay, so should we move on with uh, the other slides then? Um, so, um, so we were talking XM integrations, and uh, now I think Peter needs to take it over and uh, um, share more information on development updates. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, guys. Yeah, and as I told you earlier during our presentation, pretty much we have already rolled out our blockchain into the production. You can go to Polkadot.js and look for yourself. All the pallets are there, even the decks, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but um, as I told you, we're waiting on the interfaces and our front end team to do their best. Uh, so, um, yeah, we can live up to your expectations and uh, have this really, really great product at the end. So um, our UX and front end team, they're actively engaged in uh, work on our uh, well, currently, I would say it's DEX and our AMMs, which we have several. Uh, all the rest is pretty much ready, and uh, we've been playing internally uh, a lot on the test net and uh, experiencing it firsthand. And I can tell you, yeah, it looks slick, uh, really, really cool. Uh, if, Genshiro, if Genshiro is more of like, you know, the, this foolish playish interface, uh, Equilibrium looks really, really professional, great. Um, uh, another important aspect, we're uh, looking at Kinshiro and uh, uh, the reaction of the community onto the Balesman functionality, which is uh, somewhat not clear to them. Uh, we decided to actually separate uh, Balesman or insurers from lenders, and uh, it's already in the active development stage with our backend team, so uh, pretty much. Uh, soon uh, you will see the lending functionality and lenders they will not bear the risk of liquidation and pretty much uh, like in any classical uh, money market uh, lenders will be those people who just bring in assets and lend them out and uh, receive some moderate income which is uh, spread out across the entire pool because we take a pooled approach so we will have pools of different assets uh, which will be lent out to people who need them for any reasons. And uh, of course, our decks will work on top of that. 
it will be a spot uh, trading. So, uh, for example, if you want to short something, you go ahead and borrow it from the lender pool and you short sell it on the DEX. And when you want to long something, you go ahead and borrow stable coins by minting them and you buy that something uh, on the uh, open market uh, within our uh, order book based DEX. Uh, we've also finalized uh, our AMMs and Epsilon is uh, actually one of the first uh, native curve implementations uh, within the ecosystem. We even won a grant from the Web3 Foundation for building this palette and uh, it allows you or anyone who actually uh, uses that palette to uh, open up curve pools, uh, which are uh, the stable swap pools. So you can swap homogeneous assets uh, in those. And uh, probably people who are very familiar with the ecosystem, they know that uh, uh, Moonbeam has uh, several of those. Akala is uh, experimenting with the tripool uh, in Kusama and Equilibrium. We already have it launched like six, six months straight in Kinshiro with four stable points. And uh, we'll be definitely bringing that to Equilibrium as well. And, uh, well, personally, my favorite is the Yield AMM. And uh, this is the coolest uh, AMM we have built so far. And it allows us to price uh, tokens, uh, which are, uh, you know, in the interest space, I would say. So like zero coupon bonds at the discount to uh, another token uh, or the base asset. Uh, plethora of use cases which come straight to mind uh, with this AMM, like, you know, pricing uh, dot wrappers against dots, pricing KSM wrappers against KSM, uh, introducing some fixed term, fixed rate loans into the ecosystem. So there are lots of stuff we can do with this AMM, but uh, still there needs to be some heavy testing performed on this one and uh, uh, also the interface work needs to be done because we want to make interfaces as intuitive as possible here as well and uh well last but not least this is our like uh not related to the pr actual product line stuff but still a uh, very important task of actually keeping up the back end because uh you know, all the stuff you see on the front end, eventually it connects to the either to the blockchain or to the back end. We have some aggregates on the back end and we want to make sure that uh, our back end is fail safe. Uh, the listeners, they listen to blockchain, the writers, they write to database. And uh, there are several database views which pre-process information before we um, let it out uh, to the front end uh, through APIs. That's why, uh, yeah, we're constantly busy on, you know, uh, updating, upgrading and making sure this functionality is fail proof and fail safe. Um, so in broad strokes, that's probably it uh, for uh, our dev updates. And uh, now I'm giving it back to Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Peter. Um, yeah. So. Here's the tough topic. Uh, it's uh, our KSM treasury proposal that uh, we have um, actually made a few weeks ago. Uh, so there was uh, um, the proposal to uh, grant uh, 25,000 uh, KSM to our um, liquidity pools. And uh, what's uh, actually important about that, that we are not taking this money, but uh, we are actually borrowing them from the treasury and uh, committing to um, returning this uh, 25K um, uh, later on. And that was actually stated in our proposal. Uh, so it's not like funding for our operations, but more of uh, supporting the TVL and liquidity in our uh, liquidity pools. So that's actually um, from uh, our understanding the uh, common practice in every single ecosystem. I mean, those ones who sustain specifically. Um, the good example here is um, um, Avalanche, um, also Solana, uh, and uh, some others where Treasury is super active, and uh, those um, out like 
outrageous TVL levels that you see on that network. So actually supported um, through treasury um, uh, sort of commitments. And, um, you know, I, the thing is that like, despite it's the regular practice uh, for um, some reasons, it's uh, actually meets quite a lot of contradiction in uh, the Kusama ecosystem specifically um, based on our experience. Um, and um, actually like we have got quite a lot of uh, feedback on that proposal. The proposal itself actually passed through council and was submitted to the referendum. Uh, so the referendum is actually ongoing. However, we decided to withdraw our proposal. So we did it for intentionally for several reasons. Like, uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, got quite a lot of feedback from our, from uh, community members and we decided to um, not to move forward with the, with this proposal. Um, few reasons behind that. So uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, some fear um, kind of uh, we, the community has p pointed out some fear issues with uh, Jinchiri itself, like in the, some processes behind its development. Um, and um, actually, we decided to do our homework first before we uh, proceed with uh, this proposal. Um, so we have um, actually put together the roadmap for uh, certain improvements. Um, and uh, before we actually approach this uh, implementation of this roadmap, we want to encourage everyone who was giving us fee our feedback to consider an opportunity to join our committee of uh, community members who actually will be um, eventually um, inspecting uh, implementation of this roadmap. Uh, and uh, we also expect uh, uh, from, from these uh, community members, from active ones, uh, to uh, provide us with more, fee more of feedback if uh, this, this possible. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's very helpful. It's very helpful to talk to the community and uh, to hear this, the, the, the feedback. Um, so, Generally speaking, like again, uh, the um, the platform that we are working on is uh, very important for the ecosystem from our standpoint because uh, it uh, solves like certain uh, problems. Uh, like again, the main focus for us is to eliminate capital inefficiency and uh, provide like the variety of use cases for DeFi users on .sum ecosystem. Um, but uh, again, we think that uh, the um, the way how we are rolling out our products should be really perfect from uh, from the product perspective, first of all, and uh, from the user perspective as well, right? So that, that's that's why we, again, decided to step down and uh, to th this will give us some time to uh, work on um, certain aspects of uh, Jinchir to improve user experience and stuff. So um, by that, we are encouraging everyone uh, to reject the proposal. You can, uh, you can scan the QR code here and the slides and uh, you will um, actually will be followed to the um, referendum itself. So please reject this referendum. And uh, actually, we're super thankful to all our supporters who actually voted for this proposal. Uh, we like one of the claims from the community was that we made some uh, magic arrangements with some whales, whatever. So I uh, actually assure you that we never did any kind of arrangements during this referendum. And uh, as you probably know, uh, both the Jinchira and uh, Equilibrium is the most community supported project. So we never rely just on support on any kind of whales or larger stakeholders. So most of things that we have done were supported by community, uh, by regular community members, and that's uh, really exciting. So we are super thankful uh, to you guys. Thanks very much for your support. Um, so again, we are stepping down just to take like further actions to fix certain things within uh, Jinchira, uh, because we think that some of uh, like I would say uh, the decent amount of uh, claims that have been brought up by the community um, is fairly relevant. Uh, so we, we definitely need to uh, take care of them and, uh, you know, uh, fix uh, some very practical things. And uh, actually on this call, we wanted to present uh, uh, for your eyes uh, the 
high level roadmap uh, based on this uh, community feedback, uh, which will be actually accounted for our further steps in terms of um, uh, development of specifically the Jinshiri ecosystem. So here in this um, um, kind of diagram, you can see like four main steps. Uh, one of them will be taken like literally now, meaning this week. Then there are a few steps will be taken all in August, then it's September, and uh, the latest thing will be done in Q4 2022. Um, so let's start with the immediate actions, uh, like based on... Um, like first of all, we want to form to create the community committee, which will be um, actually sort of supervising the accomplishment of this roadmap. Uh, first of all, and uh, we very much um, uh, encourage all the community members who actually was uh, were giving us feedback uh, on what we have been um, doing and on the proposal and uh, on the Jinchiri overall to join these committees. So we'll come up with a uh, certain announcement, how exactly you can do that, uh, like uh, real soon, like probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah, please, please, please join us. We definitely uh, need you and uh, we'll be relying on your, your feedback, your experience and uh, um, your kind uh, involvement in that. So then, um, Again, based on the feedback that we got from the community, uh, like there was a fair uh, sort of uh, thing brought up that we don't have the Gen CQD pair on the DAX. Uh, we still don't have it, but we'll be opening it uh, literally uh, until tomorrow. Um, so you will be able to trade Gen CQD pair on the Jinchira, uh, on the Jinchira DAX uh, like shortly. Um, so very soon, like in August, uh, specifically in the beginning of August, we'll be opening up uh, the um, pairs, the trading pairs uh, for WBTC, ETH, and uh, BNB, uh, and then uh, one by one opening up pairs for ecosystem assets. That's something that was uh, initially planned, but we actually decided to, a little bit to accelerate that. Um, so yeah, please uh, uh, come to our platform and uh, trade if you think that you want to get, you know, decent experience with margin trading on the real decentralized exchange. So that's something that we can offer to you. Um, so another thing like Jinchiri tokens transfers are in, already enabled. You can limitlessly uh, transfer them between network accounts. So that's, that's already done. And uh, there will be also all the Oracle system that we currently have in, in our platform to be uh, committed to our public uh, repository. So that's something that we will do by tomorrow as well. So that's actually following uh, the complaints about um, uh, the open source development. Um, so in August, what will we will be doing in August? So first of all, we will remove sudo. Uh, we'll need to take some preparations before that, uh, but uh, then the sudo will be completely removed from the Jinchira parachain. Um, we will also implement discount rates on various assets, meaning that we'll be able to uh, set up different um, culturalization levels, like minimum culturalization levels on various assets, depending on their sort of quality, liquidity, volatility and stuff. Um, another very important, very exciting thing uh, will be integrated with Subscan eventually. So that actually took us some time. We've been working on that for um, quite some time, like to find the right sort of equilibrium in terms of their demands and uh, what we can um, actually give for this integration. Uh, that was uh, tough, but we eventually made it. And uh, you guys can expect the full subscan integration for Jinchira and also equilibrium uh, in the coming uh, few weeks. Um, I already mentioned new pairs that will be opening open, open in August. There will be uh, front-end fixes applied as well, because uh, we know, like, well, we, we're currently um, working mostly, like, on implementation of uh, the renewed, re renewed the interface of Equilibrium. Um, but there are some, some issues with the Jinchiri interface as well, and we'll be also focusing on fixing this, um, these issues as well. Um, so, 
also what you can expect in August. Like again, I already stated that in Kusama in the Kusama direction chats on Discord. Uh, so we kind of trying to put out into the public repository the code that it has own perfection. And uh, uh, given that we are actually um, um, yeah, so we, we actually will be rolling out our call core pallets to the public repository, so you will find it there. In September, we will be introducing splitting lenders and balesmen. This is a very big task that we're currently working on. Uh, we've been working on that already for like a few weeks, and uh, like we expect to get it tested and deployed to, into production um, in September. And... Um, in Q4, so basically like a little bit later, uh, we'll be opening up the governance portal for 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 Jinshira first, actually, and then for, for Equilibrium as well. So we're currently in talks with uh, Polka Assembly every, on, the, on this matter, and uh, expectedly we'll uh, get this done like real soon. So yeah, this is uh, this is about the roadmap. Uh, so again, uh, guys, if you feel that you have certain you know feedback. To us and um, you want to say something or advise us on anything please reach out to us on our social media channels either discord or telegram uh, or twitter or whatever what whatever you prefer and uh, we, we we are constantly in touch our uh, colleagues are actually taking care of almost like on basically every single um, uh, request there uh, but again, so we, we actually would love to, dis to discuss uh, the issues with products and uh, to fix them uh, once uh, we get this feedback from you. So yeah, th thank you very much. So again, we were planning to create the community committee around that. And um, yeah, that's, that's something we will be working on like the next, uh, the next weeks. So yeah, um, I think we are almost running out of time. Um, uh, let me see whether we have... Um, uh, questions here. Uh, just, just a sec. Uh, so yeah, there is a bunch of questions in questionnaire section. Um, so just let's go through them like real quick. Um, in the Republic sale, uh, it says that EQ will be distributed after three 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 hundred sixty five days uh, when. Uh, does the clock start the count day one? So it will start uh, once we will start distributing uh, tokens to participants of the Republic um, offering. So expectedly it will happen in the coming uh, in the coming weeks because like you know Republic is uh, actually sorting out certain things with uh, with that with the, with, the, with the investors and stuff. So please keep an eye on, that, on our announcements then. Um, hey guys, when we can expect promised Ledger support? I can't claim my Q in Equilibrium app because current Ledger app is obsolete. Um, Peter, do you want to take this? You're muted, just in case. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so um, I would say the ball is on the Ledger side. We ping them constantly, and last time we pinged them, they're like, okay, we need two more months. And uh, so we pretty much come to them every week to their Discord. Uh, we have like a private Discord group with them there, and uh, um, they're always delaying for no reason. So I guess uh, once they're ready, yeah, you will be able to claim your tokens. Please don't worry. Uh, once uh, contact me directly via Telegram, and I'll ping them special for you and uh, relay their answer to you yeah okay yeah so sorry, sorry about any inconvenience here anyways like uh, the 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 integration with ledger is um, actually very painful like in terms of timings and stops they are super slow um okay um Uh, what about phase two? How can I access my Q tokens and when the Q from the phase one will be distributed? So um, as I said, uh, the tokens from phase one will be distributed once uh, Republic will sort out all things with the uh, current participants. And uh, the phase one will expectedly go live uh, at some 
points in September. <coughs> what is the main feature that Equilibrium will add to the crypto world? What is unique about EQ? So the unique about us is that we are solving the problem of capital and efficiency of DeFi, providing like real high leverage, and that's uh, very relevant to um, to investors who take real active position on the markets. Um, what about the ability to swap assets in order to repay my liability split provided in equilibrium at least and we are also need decent block explorer as well there yeah thanks very much for this question so we are actually currently working on integration with subscan uh it will be done in the coming uh, few weeks and uh thanks for bringing this up this is definitely a very important issue um, not everything relies on us here, to be honest, but uh, again, we are doing all our best to get this done. In terms of uh, swapping assets, uh, uh, yes, we, we know that um, that was something that community was constantly asking, and uh, uh, we will make sure that once we go live with equilibrium, and actually, like right now, we also we're, work, we're working on that with uh, within Jinchir, so we'll have all the trading pairs for like almost all the assets uh, listed uh, on the money markets to be also listed on the DAX. So you can actually at least place the, some orders to, um, to, to swap assets, uh, if that makes sense. Phase two, uh, will it be with the Republic though? Um, cannot disclose all the details, um, but so we are, working with something working on something so we'll announce that respectively um um yeah so not sure that we can uh not sure that we can disclose it right now um okay when it will be on the markets um yeah guys we're working on 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 listings and once we uh will be ready we, it will go live Okay, so guys, thank you very much. I think that's pretty much all the questions that we wanted to cover uh, within today's calls. Uh, I really thank my colleagues for joining us um, uh, today, and that was uh, a really very well attended uh, community call. Thank you guys for showing up and uh, um, actually joining the call as well. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. See you in a month. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye, guys. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you.